The toaster gets very hot, so please do not touch it. And wait for it. It's coming any minute. Hoppla! Ooh! Cut it! Wow! Can I have toast, please? And me! And me! Everybody wants toast for breakfast. Well, in that case, I will have to use the big toaster. Ooh! It's a super toaster. <laughs> <laughs> Plates ready, everyone. Wait for it. Here it comes. Whee! <laughs> everyone has caught their toast. Again! 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 No, children. Eat the toast you have first. <laughs> Can I have honey on my toast, please? Can I have marmalade, please? Of course, children. I'm having strawberry jam on mine. I'm having honey, marmalade and strawberry jam on my toast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting lots of energy in my tummy. So am I. I'm getting strawberry jam energy. I'm getting honey jam and marmalade energy. Everyone has <laughs> lots and lots of energy. And now it is time for us to do a breakfast bounce. Follow me. <laughs> Use the energy from the food to get our bodies and minds ready for the day. Copy me, children. Egg, apple, yogurt, pancake and toast. Which one for breakfast do I like the most? Toast, honey, egg, jam. Toast, toast, toast. Breakfast is over, and everyone is ready to start the day. You pick a marble, and you put it in here. And it goes tumble-tumble all the way down to the bottom. Ooh! I'll show you. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> <laughs> again! Again! Bye-bye, Mummy. You can go and do your work now. Oh, thank you, Peppa. Have fun. Can I have a go? Yes, Rebecca. You take this marble and you... Ready, steady, go! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. And then you can add some more bits to the marble run. Let's make it the biggest marble run ever. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Let's add this wiggly bit. And a windmill bit. The marble will make it go round and round. Do you want to have a go, George? <laughs> Ready, steady, go! <laughs> it's going down the windmill bit. And the wiggly bit. And there. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Let's add more bits. Yes! Let's make the biggest marble run ever. <laughs> wow! That looks good, Rebecca. Now it's Richard's turn. Squeak! Marble run! Richard has lots of marbles. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Look at all the marbles going everywhere. <laughs> I thought I heard your marble run, Pepper. Can I join in? Yes, Daddy. Oh, goody. Let's make it bigger. Daddy Pig loves building the marble run. Ah, there are no more bits of marble run left in the box. Oh. Never mind. We can use other things. What I've got. Great! That's your castle almost done. Hooray! It's not almost done. We have to stick things on, paint it, add the glitter. Glitter? Hello? Hello. Can I speak to Peppa, please? Peppa, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. How's your school project going? I'm doing very well. More pointy, Mummy, and it needs to be taller. How is your castle going? It's quite hard work, but my mummy and daddy are helping a little tiny bit. Uh, what do you think of this tower, Pepper? Very good, but it still looks a bit cardboardy. Hmm, maybe I can paint it. I need to get on with my work now, Susie. 
see you tomorrow. Bye bye, Peppa. What do you think, Peppa? Wow, that looks just like a castle. Oh, we got there in the end. Hmm, it just needs one more thing. Glitter! Oh, um, glitter would stop the castle looking real. And anyway, we've, um, completely run out of glitter. Peppa and her friends have brought their castles back to playgroup. Wow, a fairy palace. That must have been a bit tricky for you to make, Susie. No, it was easy. <laughs> My castle is made out of a cardboard box. It is a very fine castle. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. Pedro, did you not make a castle? I did, but it's too big to bring into school. Uh, we built it out of stone blocks. Isn't it wonderful what the children can make using just their imaginations? And my castle really is big enough for me to live in. <laughs> Peppa loves school projects. <laughs> Everyone loves school projects. <laughs> Carefully into the water. I can't see anything. There's nothing in there. Wait, I think I see something. <laughs> ah! Crocodile! Hello, I'm Mrs. Crocodile. I'm the keeper in charge of the penguins. Ah, oh, penguins! Adorable, aren't they? And now it's their feeding time. Penguins eat fish. Ooh. Penguins are very good at catching. And waddling. <laughs> <laughs> and they like to swim. If you look through the glass wall, you can see the penguins swimming underwater. Wow! They're really good at swimming. Yes, that's why we have this fancy pool for them. Very interesting. Thank you, Mrs. Crocodile and Mr. Lion. It's our pleasure, Mrs. Wildebeest. Gazelle. Of course, yes. Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> what animal are we meeting next? I can see it. It's very tall. It's a giraffe. Yes, that's my dad. He's a keeper at the zoo. Hello. I'm Mr. Giraffe. Hello, Mr. Giraffe. What sort of animal are you looking after? See if you can guess. <laughs> <laughs> Look up there. There's a net. It must be a flying wild animal. It must be hiding, watching us, waiting to pounce. <laughs> Ooh, butterflies. Mr. Giraffe looks after the butterflies. Is it the butterflies' feeding time? Yes, and the butterflies get all the food they need from these flowers. It is amazing they can live on just the food from flowers. I wish I could get by just eating flowers. Yes. All this talk of eating has made me quite hungry. Me too. Well, it's our feeding time now. What's for lunch today, Mr. Lion? Oh, lunch boxes for everyone. Sandwiches, fruit juice, and an apple. Little picnics in boxes. Tuck in, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> Please, can we have some glitter? Please? Oh, all right. But only if you all promise to be very very careful with it. We promise. Okay, I will unlock the glitter cabinet. Madame Gazelle keeps the glitter safely locked away. Now, children, you did promise to use this glitter very carefully. It is home time, and the parents have come to collect the children. Ah, glitter! Don't panic. Please remain calm. There was a glitter leak, but we have it under control now. <laughs> Today, the children have been making masks. Ooh. Oh, oh, I'm here to pick up Pepper and George, but I can't see them anywhere. I'm a pretty butterfly. <laughs> flutter, flutter, flutter. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Butterfly. I'm looking for two little piggies. Do you know where I can find them? <laughs> Daddy, I tricked you. It's me. <gasps> Peppa, what a surprise. 
But where is George? Ah! Ah! <laughs> George, it's you! <laughs> I thought you were a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I can't find Rebecca and Richard. Would you mind if I took these two carrots home instead? <laughs> Silly, Mummy, it's us! Oh, <laughs> Rebecca, Richard. <laughs> Come on, Pedro. Time to go home. I am not Pedro. I am Super Pony. Oh, does Super Pony want to come home? Or does Super Pony want to stay here for the night? Come home with you, please, Mummy. Haven't we all had fun making wonderful masks? Who are you? It is I, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle loves masks. Everyone loves masks. It is like the path in Little Red Riding Hood. I wouldn't be surprised if we bumped into the big bad wolf. <laughs> Hello there. It is Mr. Wolf. Hello, Mr. Wolf. How are you? Very well, thank you. Just a little bit hungry. I'm trying to decide where to go for lunch. I'm going to my granny's house for lunch. Are you really? Yes. Is it far? Not far. This is the shortcut. We'll be there soon. Very good. Oh, well. Catch you later. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> that was just like Little Red Riding Hood. Meeting Mr Wolf in the middle of the woods when I'm going to Granny's house. <laughs> <laughs> Which way now, Daddy Pig? Uh, I'm not sure. There's a little house over there. Let's ask them the way. Hello? Is there anybody home? I wonder who lives here, in the middle of the woods. There are three chairs. And three bowls of porridge. Hello, Peppa. Here are Belinda Bear and Mummy and Daddy Bear. Hello, Hello there. there. Hello, Mr and Mrs Bear. Sorry to trouble you. The door was open, so we came inside. It's quite all right. It's lovely to see you. Are you going to stay for lunch, Peppa? It's porridge. <laughs> it's not too hot or too cold, but just right. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually on our way to have lunch at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Could you point us in the right direction, please? <laughs> that path there will take you to Granny Pig's house. Thank, Thank you. you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Wow. That was just like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Yes, with a little house and three chairs. And three bowls of porridge. <laughs> <laughs> we are in a fairy tale. Peppa has arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Granny Pig, we're here. Hello. Oh. Here is Mr Wolf. Mr Wolf, why are you here? I'm just round for something to eat. Your granny has made a lovely lunch. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Hello. Hello, old bean. Grandpa, that man just called you an old bean. Yes, Peppa. It's another way of saying old friend. Are they your friends, Grandpa? Oh, not really. We're just members of the same sailing club. Now, where did I leave my boat? What does your boat look like, Grandpa? It has a little red flag on top of the mast. Like that little flag? Ah, yes. Oh, dear. Grandpa Pig's sailing boat has sunk. I'm afraid we can't go sailing today, children. Oh. <laughs> Here is Grampy Rabbit on his hovercraft. What is that monstrosity? Is it allowed at the sailing club, Mara? Hello! What a marvellous day for sailing! Hello, Grampy Rabbit. Pepper, you look sad. What's the matter? We can't go sailing because our boat has sunk. Oh, dear. Why don't you hop onto my hovercraft? I really don't think this is quite... Hold on to your hat! Ah! Oh! Oh! Ah! Grampy Rabbit's hovercraft can go on land and water. I built it myself! You'd never guess, would you? We don't need that, mate. 
You can't drive this thing around here. You're not a member of the Saining Club. Well, you're a member, aren't you? Yes, but... That's all right, then. Ah, nothing like a peaceful day sailing. The calmness of the water, the quietness of the... Oh, what's that horrible noise? Hello there! Lovely day for a sail! It's that monstrosity again! Is that Grandpa Pig? Uh, hello? <laughs> Is it meant to be like that? No, the house is just old. Everything here is a little bit wonky donkey. Oh, everything is leaning now, but it wasn't always this way. When did your house start leaning, Madam Gazelle? Oh, I don't know. It's been so long. And now I have cracks everywhere, too. Hmm. I think your house might need fixing. Can't I just paper over the cracks and paint it? That is what my builder told me to do. What does the outside wall look like? Ah, what's this? Oh, that is my little Christmas tree. That's not little. That's big. It was from Christmas a long time ago. It was a little baby tree with a fairy on top. After Christmas, I could not bear to throw it away. So I planted it in the garden. Your baby tree has grown so much, it's pushing your house over. That's why your house is all wonky donkey. Oh dear, what can we do about it? I'll call Mr. Bull. Hello, Mr. Bull. We have a big tree that needs looking at. I'll be right there. So, where's this tree then? Here it is. That's a mighty fine tree you have there, Madam Gazelle. Strong roots. Yes, but it's pushing the house over. Oh, yes. Let's chop it down. Oh, dear, my poor tree. Stop! I saw something move in the tree. It was a little animal. Can I be a mountain leopard, please? No, I can only do fruit. OK, can I be... A plum! There. Pepper is in charge of the lucky dip. Roll up! Roll up! For your lucky dip! Moo! Hello, Pepper! Hello, Mr. Bull! You've got a green face! I'm an apple! Ooh! Would you like to try the lucky dip? OK! What do I do? Just pull a prize out of the barrel. Everyone a winner! Mr. Bull has won a dolly. Can I have a go? Mrs. Cat has won a digger. Oh, do you want to swap? No, no thank, thank you. you. Mr. Bull and Mrs. Cat like their lucky dip prizes. <laughs> <laughs> roll up, roll up. Freddy Fox is in charge of the mummies and daddies race. Thank you. It's all to raise money for a new school roof. I'm quite good at running. <laughs> It's not running, Daddy. It's a sack race. Oh. You have to get in the bag and jump over there. <sniffs> as fast as you can. Right. On your marks, get set, go! Oh. And they've fallen down. Oh. And they're back up again. Hooray! Oh. Oh. Fun, wasn't it? Yes, yes. Lots, lots of fun. fun. But really, we must thank the children for all their hard work. Thank, thank you, children. children. And we have raised enough money to buy a new school roof. 
again. Hooray! Look at this spoon. That's my face. It looks funny. Whoa! Now I'm upside down. How does that work? It's a funny magic mirror spoon. <laughs> I know where there are some big funny mirrors. Really? Wobbly mirrors in a tent. Where are these wobbly mirrors? At the fair. The parents have brought the children to the fair. Roll up, roll up. See my amazing wobbly mirrors! <laughs> the tent is full of big wobbly mirrors. Ooh, what's happened to my body? <laughs> You're a wobbly jelly! <laughs> wobble, wobble, wobble. How does it do that, Daddy? It's very simple. Illusions of optical differentials by convex and concave surfaces generate patterns... So it's magic? Uh, yes. It's magic. Look at me! <laughs> I've gone all squishy! <laughs> I've got a long neck, like a giraffe. <laughs> this mirror looks normal to me. Daddy! Where's your big tummy gone? What tummy? <laughs> <laughs> it is Mummy Rabbit with her baby twins, Rosie and Robbie. Hello, sister. How are you today? Very good, sister. Mustn't chat for long, though. I've got customers inside the tent. Aren't the mirrors amazing, Daddy Pig? Wow! I can see two of you. What do you mean? I can see you in the mirror. But there's no mirror. Is it magic? Silly Daddy, it's Miss Rabbit and Mummy Rabbit. Oh! I suppose we do look a bit the same. Well, we, we are, are sisters. sisters. <laughs> That's a nice teapot, Mr. Bull. Yes, Pepper. <gasps> it's made of delicate china. Mr. Bull likes delicate china. You have to be very, very careful with china. Why? Because china can break very easily. <coughs> That's why I always... <gasps> oh, dear. Mr. Bull has smashed the teapot to pieces. Oh, no! I put it down too hard. I don't know my own strength. Maybe we can fix it, boss. Oh, I've got cement. I've got a rivet gun. It's not gonna work, lads. I know. Miss Rabbit has a china shop. She could mend it. Good idea, Mummy Pig. We'll go right now. Can I come too? We'll all go. <laughs> Mr. Bull is going to the china shop. This is Miss Rabbit's china shop. There we are! Hello, can I help you? Moo! Ah! A ball in a china shop! Hello, Miss Rabbit. I have broken my china teapot. Oh dear. Can you fix it? Let's have a look. Hmm, that's very broken. I smashed it to bits. Yes, but I think I can fix it. Oh, goody. Can we help? <coughs> of course, Peppa. <laughs> oh, these two pieces fit together. Fixing the teapot is a bit like doing a jigsaw puzzle. Well done, Peppa. I'll glue those bits together. <laughs> George has also found two pieces that fit. Well done, George. <laughs> Nearly finished. That's the lid. There's just this funny shaped bit left. Where does that go? <laughs> That's the teapot's handle, Miss Rabbit. Oh, so it is. I don't know much about china teapots. It's as good as new. Be careful not to smash it again. Oh, I am very good at smashing things. <gasps> oh! <gasps> Did you know you can jump really high on the moon? Oh! 
How high? As high as a house. Why can you jump so high on the moon? Um. The gravitational pull is smaller on the moon. Oh, yes, that's it. They're quite the clever clogs, aren't we? Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. I was a little bit lonely up there with just the moon and the stars. And the most exciting bit was... What's the most exciting bit, Grumpy Rabbit? I can't hear you. Why has he stopped talking? Oh, dear. Grumpy Rabbit has lost his voice. I had better ring Dr Brown Bear. Dr Brown Bear speaking. Hello, Dr Brown Bear. Grumpy Rabbit has lost his voice. Is that such a bad thing? Yes. He's giving an important talk about space rockets to the children. Oh, in that case, I'll be straight there. <laughs> Hello, Grampy Rabbit. I hear you've lost your voice. <coughs> Say, ah, oh, please. <coughs> I see, yes, a very serious case of losing a voice. Too much shouting, I imagine. Let's see if a little bit of medicine helps. Open wide. Try saying, ah, now. <coughs> Louder. <coughs> That's better! <laughs> Not back to normal! They're getting there! Hooray! Now, where was I? You were just about to tell us the most exciting bit. Oh, yes! The most exciting bit was I wrote a song. Uh, would you like to hear it? No, no thank, thank you. you. Yes, please! I got up this morning. Pussy, you will run around the cones like this to win a point. Ooh! But if anyone catches the ball, Susie is out and gets no points. Ah! Oh. Let's play! Everyone takes their positions for bat and ball. Are you ready, Susie? Stand back, everyone. I'm going to hit it a million miles. Ooh! Ready? Ready! Run, Susie! Run! Oh, yes! <laughs> Quick! Get the ball! Get it! I got all the way around. I win one point. Well done, Susie. Now it's George's turn to bet. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I think George is too young to do bat and ball. You're never too young to play bat and ball, Pepper. Oh, all right. Just try your best, George. <laughs> <gasps> George has hit the ball backwards. Run, George! <laughs> <laughs> Get it! Get the ball! I'll fetch it! <laughs> George has run all the way round and scored a point. Hooray! <laughs> Very good, George! <laughs> Thank you, Danny. <laughs> and now it is my turn to bet. Aren't you too old, Madam Gazelle? You're never too old to play bat and ball, Pepper. OK. Just try your best. Ooh! Madam Gazelle is good at batting. You hit it a million miles. And now I run! <laughs> Catch the ball! I'll get it! Let me get, get the ball! That's one point! The ball is going all the way to the school. Oh, I'll go round again. I'll get it! Yeah. Yeah. It's going the other way! <laughs> round again! Get the ball! I'm scoring lots of points! Get it! Here it comes! Catch the ball! Did you catch the ball? No. Did you get it, Susie? No. Who's got it? I haven't got it. I win! I win! I am the champion! <laughs> George caught the ball. Hooray! I lose. 
I lose all my points. Well done, George. Hello? Is this the relaxation class? Yes. We're all here to find inner happiness and calm. Hello! Welcome to the relaxation class. It's all about leaving stress behind. So please turn off your phones. Relax your bodies. Empty your minds. Hello, Sports Centre? OK, I'll be right there. Back in a mo. Just keep relaxing while I'm gone. <laughs> Hello, children. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We've come for our gym lesson. Yes, the children are very excited. <laughs> Fantastic. I'll just set up the gym for you. Don't mind me. Just keep relaxing. Relax. <laughs> hello, Mummy. What are you doing here? Oh, hello, Pepper. I've come to do a class. Me too. See you later. <laughs> now, where were we? Uh, we were just starting to relax. Oh, yes. Think of a beautiful woodland glade. Stillness. Silence. <laughs> Children, are you ready for your gym class? Yes, yes Madam, Madam Gazelle. Gazelle. What's that? I can't hear you. Surely you can shout louder than that. Yes, yes Madam, Madam Gazelle. Gazelle. Good. I want to see lots of jumping and climbing and running. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> Slow down. Quicker, quicker. Harmony, stillness, jump, 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 relax. <laughs> Hello, Mummy Pig. What are you doing here? I'm doing a relaxation class. Well, I hope this children's party doesn't disturb you. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> oh, oh, this is fun. I wonder how high I can go. <laughs> Just try to relax. Stop relaxing now. Relaxation class is over. How did you find it, Mummy Pig? Very, very stressful. Funny. That's what everybody says. Why don't you have a go on the bouncy castle? <laughs> yes, I think I will. Whee! This is wonderful. I feel lovely and relaxed. <laughs> Mummy Pig loves bouncy castles. Everybody loves bouncy castles. <laughs> it's World Book Day tomorrow and we have to dress up as someone from a book. That sounds exciting. Who are you going to be, Pepper? You've got lots of books to choose from. Yes! <laughs> I can go as a sleepy princess. From this book. Yes, I love reading you this story. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there lived a... Or maybe I can go as the red monkey. <laughs> I love that book too. Hmm, I can't decide. All the books are good. Why not go as Funny Onion from the book that Mummy Pig wrote? No, Daddy. It has to be a real book, not Mummy's book. <laughs> Thank you very much, Peppa. Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. 47685931 Most of Mummy Pig's book is one big long number. Yes, there were a few printing problems. How about this book? The Tiny Magic Fairy. Yes! <laughs> I'm a tiny magic fairy. <laughs> and George, what's your favourite book? I'm sure. Of course, your pop-up dinosaur book. <laughs> well, that's settled. George will go to World Book Day as a dinosaur and Peppa will go as a tiny fairy. Or maybe a duck. Quack, quack. It is nearly bedtime. Aha! I'm the happy pirate from the pirate book. <laughs> Pirates are my favourite because they are funny and they sing happy songs and... Brush their teeth? Yes, brush their teeth. <laughs> are we all ready for World Book Day tomorrow? No. My favourite...
favourite book keeps changing. Oh, oh, don't worry, Peppa. You can decide in the morning. Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. And what do we need to make a muddy puddle? Dirt and water. Dirt and water. Mix them together to make a muddy puddle. Peppa, please test the puddle. This puddle is too dry. Let's add some more water. Please jump again, Peppa. This puddle is just right. Nice and muddy. <laughs> and making muddy puddles is a bit like making concrete. Concrete is what we're using to make your new playground. It starts off wet and soft like mud, then it sets and goes hard forever. Ooh. Right now, it is gloopy like custard. Let me show you. You see? It's very soft. But who can tell me what's going to happen next? The concrete will go hard. Exactly. It will set as hard as rock. Uh, Daddy Pig, I think you should step out of there before... I'll be with you in a moment, Mr Bull. I'm just talking to the children. Yes, but... Uh... You see, the concrete is soft. Still soft. And now... Hard. Wow. All thanks to a bit of simple science. Now, Mr. Bull, uh, what was it you were saying? I was trying to say you should get out before the concrete goes hard. Ah. Daddy Pig is stuck. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I'll have you out in a jiffy. How? I'll dig up a playground. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves being dug out of concrete. Everyone loves being dug out of concrete. I'm sure. OK, George, let's get a dinosaur. This way, George. No, no, that way. Back, forward, down. Dinosaur toy is too heavy for the grabber. Oh, ho, ho. try again! Oh no! We got a Mr. Potato doll! Mm. The Mr. Potato doll is just the right weight for the grabber. Aren't you lucky? And he's yours to keep! Oh. But the best news is you have earned your digger badges! You are fully qualified Digger Drivers! Hooray! <laughs> Thank you for visiting Digger World, where all your digger dreams come true! Bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> I really like Digger World because we get to drive... Stop! It is Mr Bull. What's the matter, Mr Bull? We're building a wall across the road! Digger! Digger! Mr Bull, can we drive your digger? Oh, I'm afraid children can't drive diggers. But we've been to Digger World. We've got badges. Oh, that's OK then. Hop aboard! <laughs> I'll drive the digger and you can have the important job of pushing the buttons. <laughs> OK, now, push the button. What? This red one? No, the green one! Ah! The digger has knocked over the new wall. Sorry, Mr Bull. <laughs> Building things up, then knocking them down. It's all part of the fun with diggers. Peppa and George love diggers. Everyone loves diggers. <laughs> George has found an enormous bone. Dinosaur. <laughs> it might very well be a dinosaur bone, George. Ha! What's this? Grandpa Pig has found a gold coin. It's 
treasure, Grandpa. How is the pond coming along? Very well. We've dug up a cup, a dinosaur bone and a coin. It's buried treasure. How exciting. I have a little treasure too. That is not treasure. That is a gnome. Grandpa Pig does not like gnomes. Mr Fox says it's an antique. Very rare. One of a kind. Of course he did. Grandpa, do you think we really have found buried treasure? I'm not sure, but the museum would know. This is the museum. Hello, can I help you? Hello, Mr Rabbit. We've dug up some treasure. Let's take a look at what you've got. Mmm, a fine china cup. Interesting. What else have you brought to show me? A coin. Made of gold. Is it real plastic gold? No, it's metal gold. Ooh. Anything else? <laughs> My goodness, this bone is the best of the lot. Look, it fits my dinosaur perfectly. Hooray! Thank you so much for bringing these valuable objects in. Valuable? So they are worth something? Oh, yes. They are worth lots of money. And you can visit the museum any time you like to see them. Eh? Children are free. And you, sir, get in half price because you are old. Can I just ask where you dug up such treasures? In Grandpa's garden. All digging must stop until an expert has been to investigate. Don't worry, I am Super Pedro. Ow! Oh dear, what has happened? Tiddles fell on Pedro's nose. My nose hurts. Poor Pedro. I will call for the doctor. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. A bumped nose, you say? I'll be right there. Hello. Where is the patient? Here. My nose hurts. I see. Say, ah. Uh... Ah. Uh... You need a plaster. There. That will make it better. Hooray! My glasses don't work. Pedro's glasses are all muddy. Oh, Dr. Brown Bear, can you fix Pedro's glasses? No, I can't. You'll need an optician for that. An optician is a doctor who knows about glasses. My daddy's an optician. Hello, Dr. Pony speaking. A pair of glasses not working, you say? I'm on my way. Hello, Daddy. Hello, son. What seems to be the problem? My glasses aren't working. Can you read this chart? No, my glasses aren't working. Why, these glasses just need a good clean. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> yes. Thank you, Daddy. Dr. Pony has fixed Pedro's glasses. Hooray! Thank you, doctors. Everything is back to normal. But Tiddles needs helping too. Hmm, its legs are wiggling in the air. It seems to be upside down. Can you doctors help a tortoise in trouble? No, I'm afraid we can't treat animals. Oh. You need a vet. A vet is a doctor for animals. Hello? It is Mr Bull's brother. Hello! Sorry about the noise, but we're building a road and need to knock this building down. Dr Hamster's home for sick pets is in the way of the new road. Hello, everyone! Mr Rabbit is the road-building inspector. Hmm, things are looking a bit slack, Mr Bull. Why have you stopped working? This building is in the way. I said they should build a tunnel. Yes, a tunnel would do. Mm, yes, but that would be very hard to do. Are your machines not strong enough to make a tunnel? What? Our machines are the strongest machines in the world. 
We can build a tunnel. I'll dig from this side. I'll dig from the other side. And we'll meet in the middle. <laughs> Mr Bull and his brother are digging a tunnel through the hill. The tunnel has been dug. And the new road is finished. Hooray! Congratulations, Mr Bull. You did a fine job. Yes. Now all those busy people can get to where they're going more quickly. The new road is so nice and straight that lots and lots of cars have come to use it. Uh, they're not going that quickly. Hmm. There are more cars using this road than we had planned for. We'll need a bigger road. So, what are you going to do? Only one thing we can do, Peppa. We'll <laughs> dig up the road! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George love it when Mr Bull and his brother dig up the road. <laughs> Everyone loves it when Mr. Bull and his brother dig up the road. Can't wait to play in Susie's new room. Oh, Peppa, Susie is moving to the other side of the world. You won't be able to play with her every day. But I'll see you every day at school, won't I, Susie? Yes, I'll still go to school, won't I, Mummy? You're going to a new school, Susie. Oh. oh. Will I ever see you again? Oh, I'm sure you'll see Susie again, Pepper. Yes. Oh, look at the time. We have to go. But, Mummy, we need to play some more. You can play some more tomorrow. Right now, we have to go and pack. Oh, bye-bye, Pepper. See you, Susie. Are you OK, Pepper? I'm sad. It's a bit of a shock, Susie moving away, isn't it? Yes. Why don't you make Susie a going away card? OK. <laughs> I'm drawing me and Susie and flowers. That's a lovely card, Peppa. Hmm. Would you like to talk to Susie on the phone? Yes, please, Mummy. Hello. Hello, Susie. I'm a bit sad. Me too. Are you still coming to play tomorrow? Yes, please. OK. See you tomorrow. <laughs> it is morning and Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. Race you to the next hill. <laughs> <laughs> I will really miss you, Susie. <laughs> And I'll miss you, Peppa. <laughs> I will even miss you bossing me about. What do you mean? You are the bossy one. No, I am not. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> we are both a bit bossy. The picnic basket. <laughs> It's very good of you to steer the boat, Grampy Rabbit. Uh, but I'm not steering the boat. I thought somebody else was. Oh, dear. No one is steering the boat. We're lost at sea. And look, Grampy Rabbit's boat is sinking. Don't panic! Might be any worse situations than this. Really? No. This is the worst. <laughs> we're saved! But we're stuck on a desert island! With just the sea and the sky for company. And we haven't got any food. Ooh, I've got a chocolate bar. Good. We should save the chocolate in case we get hungry later. Oh dear. Grampy Rabbit has eaten all the food. What a terrible place to be stuck. Is anyone else missing cheese? We've only been here five minutes, Grampy Rabbit. I'm going to put a mark in the sand for every time I think about cheese. We need to call for help. Call for help? What an excellent idea. Help! 
Grumpy Rabbit is very good at shouting. What was that? That was the call of the sea. Someone is in trouble. What can we do? We'll rescue them. We can use Grandad Dog's boat. Wait a minute. I said I'd never get on a boat again. But, Daddy, they need rescuing. You're right. Just this once. I shall sail again. Life jackets on. Oh, oh Captain, Captain Dog. Full sail! All our food is gone. There's nothing left to eat. There must be something to eat. Oh, stop, Mr Wolf. Uh, there's not enough room for you. Oh, dear. I've got an idea. You wait here, Grumpy Rabbit, and we'll go over. All right. I could do with the rest. Mr Wolf and Mr Pig are crossing the river together. I'm really hungry now. Hooray! We're here! Hello, Daddy. Where's the picnic? Who? Oh. Grampy Rabbit is waiting with the picnic. I forgot the picnic. <laughs> you can't have a picnic without a picnic. <laughs> oh, you're right there. Uh, what about me, Grampy Rabbit? Uh, no room, Daddy Pig. I'll come back for you. <sighs> It is Mrs Duck and her friends. Hello, Mrs Duck. If you've come for the picnic, you'll have to wait for the little boat, like me. Or you could just swim across, like you're doing. <laughs> Here's the picnic hamper, everybody. Hooray! <laughs> and here are the ducks. The ducks always turn up when we have picnics. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some cheese, Grumpy Rabbit? Well, uh, I should really be getting back. Oh, I do love a bit of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I love jelly. I love sandwiches. Strawberry! <laughs> They've forgotten me. Here's some cake for you, Mrs Duck. <laughs> Is cake your favourite? It's Daddy's favourite too. Oh. Where is Daddy? We forgot Daddy. Ahoy there! I've come to take you to the picnic. Hooray! Ah, one little snail. Two little snails. <laughs> and a slug. Eh, slugs are yucky. <laughs> Here are Grandpa Pig's chickens. Sarah, Jemima, Vanessa and Neville. Hello, chickens. I need to put the chickens to bed. Night, night, chickens. Night, night, chickens. Night, night. Why aren't the slugs and snails in bed, Grandpa? Because they're up all night eating my vegetables. Some animals eat in the daytime, like my chickens. And some animals eat at night, like, oh, Mr Fox. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Putting your chickens to bed, are you? Oh, yes. Nice and cosy in the hen house. Jolly good. Well, I'll be on my way. Good night. Good, good night. night. Now, as I was saying, some animals eat at night, like, <laughs> oh, hello. Grandpa. There's a little animal in your bucket. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes, it's a hedgehog. They like to eat slugs and snails. Hello, hedgehog. <coughs> oh, he's rolled into a ball. Yes, Peppa. He is very shy. Come out, Mr Hedgehog. Don't be scared. I like hedgehogs. They are very good at keeping slugs and snails off my lovely lettuce. Bye-bye, <laughs> Hedgehog. Bye-bye. Are there any more night animals, Grandpa? Yes, there are moths. Ooh, they look like butterflies. Butterflies that come out at night. They light the torchlight. When it goes off, they leave. When the light goes on, they come back. Uh, let's
Let's go this way. Remember, Daddy Pig, this is another country. They may drive differently here. Oh, oh, driving is driving, Mummy Pig. It can't be that different. Strada Porco! Driving in Italy is very different to driving at home. Hello! Yes, we're on holiday. Daddy, why are they beeping their horns at us? I expect they're saying hello. Can we say hello back? Of course we can. Hello! Everyone is so friendly here. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her family are on their way to their holiday house. Ah, we're almost there. Yes, I can feel myself relaxing already. Teddy! I love Teddy on the aeroplane! Eh? What? We have to go back for Teddy! Uh... Oh, dear. It is a policeman. Hello, officer. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but I promise I won't do it again. Good day. I am returning this young bear. He was left on the aeroplane. Oh, thank you. Teddy! Have a lovely holiday. Here we are. Pepper and her family have arrived at their holiday house. <laughs> what have you done? Got in this bag, Mummy Pig. It's all important stuff for our holiday. A lovely plant, our computer, tin food, hot water bottles, some winter clothes in case it gets a bit chilly, the telephone. Let's ring Granny and Grandpa. <sniffs> Granny and Grandpa Pig are looking after Goldie the fish while Pepper is on holiday. Are you sure we're feeding Goldie enough? I'll just feed her a pinch more. Wow! You both look the same! That's because we're identical twins. Identical <laughs> twins look like each other. Do people get you mixed up? Sometimes, but it's okay. We're used to it. Peggy, Pandora, as it is your first time at Playgroup, you may both choose what we do today. Hmm. We like solving mysteries and we like doing puzzles. Mysteries and puzzles. Let me see. Yes, we have a jigsaw puzzle. Hooray! We love jigsaws. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a cloud. And here is the sun. Maybe they fit together. No, they don't fit. Try turning that piece around. Now they fit. Where does this piece go? Hmm. Try putting the blue sky with the blue sky. It fits! <laughs> and the green grass with the green grass. <laughs> the jigsaw is finished. It's a picture of a house on a sunny day. Well done, children. <laughs> that was great teamwork. Are you enjoying your day, Pandora? Peggy? Yes, thank you. We love doing puzzles and solving mysteries. Our daddy is a policeman. Ooh! I want to be a policeman when I grow up. The police drive cars with flashing lights. And they go... Nina, 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 Nina. Yes, yes. Perhaps now is a good time to phone your daddy and let him know how we're getting on. Oh, where is my phone? I must have put it down somewhere. Have you lost your phone, Madam Gazelle? Yes, I had it just now. Where can it be? Where did you last see it? If I knew that, Susie, I wouldn't be looking for it, would I? Why don't you always put things in the same place, Madam Gazelle? Then you will know where they are. Well, that is very good advice, Susie. But it is not always possible to put something down in the same place every time. <laughs> yes, Daddy. Madam Gazelle said I have to practice. Oh, yes. Practice makes perfect. Will you help me? Of course Daddy Pig will help you while I, uh, do some work in another room. Susie is practicing too. Yes, that's it. La, 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 la. 
Very good, Danny. Shall we call that a day? No. Madam Gazelle said I had to keep on trying until I get it right. Pepper and her friends have been practising their recorders all week. They are giving a concert for the parents. Welcome to our concert. Ready, children? <gasps> Bravo! Bravo! Oh. Bravo! Haven't the children worked hard? Yes, it was a very good experience for them. It's hard to think it was only for a week of our lives. And now it's over. Children, for our next concert, I want you to learn this tune. Hooray! <laughs> Go home and practice, practice, practice. Pepper loves the recorder. Everyone loves the recorder. <laughs> Ooh, we love fireworks. Hello, Madam Gazelle. Where do you want these fireworks? Put them on the next hill, please, Mr. Bull. Okie dokie. Children, before we celebrate Chinese New Year, we must sweep up. Why? We must sweep out the old year before we welcome in the new year. <laughs> Finish, Madam Gazelle! Lovely. Now, we must be careful not to sweep anymore, so please hide all the brushes. <laughs> all the children are hiding their brushes. Madam Gazelle, why do we hide the brushes? So we don't sweep away the good luck that the new year brings, Pedro. Okay. When you have good luck, nice things happen. Ooh. Can I have some good luck, please? I mean, I mean. They say if you wear something red, it will bring you good luck. <laughs> Pepper and her friends pick something red to wear. I'm wearing lucky red shoes. I'm wearing a red hat. I'm wearing a red scarf. And my red dress. Ah, a red scarf and a red dress? That will make you extra lucky, Peppa. That's not fair. I want to be extra lucky too. If I am extra lucky, I will share it with you, Susie. <coughs> Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are best friends. Now, to celebrate the new year, we will have a dragon dance with a big dragon like this. Ooh! Is it a scary dragon? No, Danny. It is a super friendly dragon. Where is it? We are going to make it. What's that? It looks like a sausage. It might look like a sausage now, but soon it will be a magnificent dragon. How do we make the sausage look like a dragon? With cardboard and paints, ribbons and your imagination. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are making a dragon. Oh yes, maybe it was meant for someone else. Delivery for Daddy Pig. Thank you, Mr Zebra. Look, it's a picture of me, George and Daddy in our car. Yes, next to a no parking sign. It says I have to have a lesson to learn how to park. Daddy has to go to school. <laughs> it is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, 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 Mr Pig. Uh, can I help you? Yes, it's about the parking ticket. It's just routine. Nothing to worry about. You're not planning on leaving the country, are you? No. Are you ready for your parking lesson? Yes. Marvellous. Follow me. This is a no parking sign. 
It is important to look out for signs on the public highway. That's right. Police Officer Panda will now show you how to park. Here is somewhere you can park. There is no sign here. Here is somewhere you should not park. There is a no parking sign. And that is the end of the parking lesson. That's all very clear. Thank you, Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Just doing our job. Hello, Police Officer Panda. Oh, hello, Miss Rabbit. Say cheese. What? A parking ticket? But that's outrageous. I was only parked for a moment. This sign was clearly visible. And you were parked in front of it. Ho, ho, you're right. It just goes to show that nobody is above the law. <laughs> And even grown-ups get told off. <laughs> <laughs> but today we have a visitor. Ooh. Mandy Mouse. Hello, everyone. Squeak. Hello. Hello. Mandy Mouse uses a wheelchair to get around. Mandy is spending the day at our playgroup. If she likes it, she will come every day. See you later, Mandy. Have fun. Bye, Mummy. Hello, Mandy. I'm Peppa Pig. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, I'm Danny Dog. <coughs> and I'm Susie Sheep. <laughs> We're drawing pictures. I drew the sun. Ooh. I drew a cloud. Ooh. I drew the sky. That's nice. I like drawing aeroplanes. Drawing? Thank you. <laughs> it is playtime. <laughs> that was fun. Wow, you're fast. All thanks to my wheelchair. <laughs> Why do you have a wheelchair, Mandy? <laughs> because my legs don't work like yours. Can you walk on your legs? No, I have my wheels. <laughs> See, I get around fine. I can do everything. Squeak! <laughs> <laughs> Let's play ball. Yes, please. Squeak! OK, Mandy, you're on my team. <laughs> Susie, you're on my team. <laughs> Gerald, <laughs> Pedro, <laughs> Molly <Squeak>. and Emily. <laughs> The children are in two teams. How do you play this game? The captain takes the ball and throws it over there. No, I know the rules and the you're not no, holding the ball. I say you do it this way. That is the rules because I said so. <laughs> what about the team who gets the ball through the hoop wins? <laughs> OK. okay. Don't worry, there is something we can do with daisies. We can make a daisy chain. What's a daisy chain? I'll show you. First you take a daisy and make a little hole in the stem. Take another daisy and thread it through that hole. Then make a hole in that daisy stem and thread another daisy through that hole. Look, a daisy chain. Wow! wow. Let me try. <laughs> Make a hole in the stem, thread a daisy through. This is fun! <laughs> <laughs> we can join them together to make one big daisy chain necklace. There! Now you are the daisy queen, Peppa. Yes, I am the daisy queen. Look at me, look at me! <laughs> no, George, I am the daisy queen. You need to be something else. Oh. George, you can be a lion. And these dandelions can be your mane. <laughs> George is a dandelion. Roar! <laughs> George likes being a lion. Roar! Children, come and get your food. <laughs> Look, everyone. I am the Daisy Queen. And this is George the Lion. Roar! Ooh. And I know a trick to see if you like butter, Daddy. Really? Yes, you do like butter. Oh, oh I do. 
That's very clever, Pepper. Can I try? Mmm, yes. Daddy also likes eggs. And tomato, cheese and cake. Wow! How do you know all that, Mummy? Because he's got bits of egg, tomato, cheese and cake all down his front. Ho, ho! <laughs> Daddy Pig loves picnics. Everybody loves picnics. <laughs> What a lovely card! Open it! Ah! Glitter! Yes! We used all the glitter! How wonderful! <laughs> Daddy Pig loves glitter. Everyone loves glitter. <laughs> now, let's make a Father's Day cake. What can we put in the cake? <laughs> yes, George! Daddy does like cereal! <laughs> And tomato ketchup. <laughs> I'm not sure Daddy Pig likes ketchup in cake. Daddy does like ketchup. <laughs> Everyone likes tomato ketchup. Cheese! Yes, George. Daddy loves cheese. <laughs> oh, oh, what's going on here? <gasps> Daddy, don't look. It's a surprise. You were supposed to be watching racing cars on TV. I thought I would get up and do something. You could always cut the grass. Daddy can't work on Daddy's Day, Mummy. Thank you, Peppa. You can give me and George piggyback rides. Ah. <laughs> oh, it's hard work not working. <laughs> now it's time for your tea party. This way, Daddy. <laughs> oh. Would you like some tea? Thank you, Peppa. And is there any cake? Oh, yes, the cake. Here it is, Pepper. But I'm not sure it's the sort of cake that can actually be eaten. Yes, it is. It is the best cake ever. George and me made it all ourselves. Fantastic. I can't wait to try it. Mm -hmm. What's in it? All your favourite things. Mmm, tasty. Did you have a nice day, Daddy? <laughs> yes, Pepper and George. It was super. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves Father's Day. Everybody loves Father's Day. <gasps> it's Susie! Hello! Hello, Peppa. Where are you going? We're going to the top. Where are you going? We're going to the bottom. <laughs> Pepper has reached the top. Quick, Daddy! I need to go down to find Susie. I'm coming to find you, Peppa. I'm coming to find you, Susie. Ah! You're, you're going, going the wrong, wrong way. way. Peppa and George are back at the bottom, but Susie is at the top. I think that's enough escalators for now. But I need to see Susie. Then we can use. The lift. Ooh. I need to find Peppa. Then let's take the lift. It's not working. Someone else is using it. We just have to wait. But I need to find Peppa. Susie. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and Susie are best friends. Peppa, look what I've got. <laughs> Little Susie's in boxes. How did you do that? In the photo booth. I'll show you. This is the photo booth. You sit in here, put the money in there, and then it flashes. It's not flashing. I think it's broken. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> There's more. Smile. When does it flash? Ah! Oh, I missed it again! <laughs> you a funny face! <laughs> <laughs> and the last one? Has it finished yet? <laughs> I think I might be in that one. <laughs> Here are the pictures. Look at all of those funny faces. <laughs> again, again, again! I think it's time we pick up Mummy Pig. Did you have a perfect day? Yes, thank you. I did, Peppa. Did you? Yes. 
us. We went up and down the magic stairs and we saw Susie and did some funny pictures. That does sound nice. Home time. Daddy Pig, did you have a perfect day? My perfect day starts when we get home. Daddy, what's your perfect day? <laughs> Come and see! <laughs> Whee! Daddy Pig is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. It's the perfect end to a perfect day! <laughs> And surprise Daddy! What a good idea! Come on, George! <laughs> Pepper and George are recording lots of different sounds. In the kitchen. In the bedroom. <laughs> in the living room. In the hallway. <laughs> Even in the garden. Peppa, George, Daddy will be home soon. Have you finished recording your sounds? <laughs> no, Mummy, there's just one more. Come on, George, follow me. What sound can it be? It's a very important sound. Peppa <laughs> is going into the bathroom. Flush the toilet, George. <laughs> Daddy Pig is home from work. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> I've been looking forward to playing my new synthesizer all day. Mmm, lovely music. It's even more lovely with the buttons, Daddy. <laughs> Play it again. All right. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> What's that? That's me! We've made lots of silly sounds. Play it again! <laughs> <laughs> it's funny music, Daddy. Oh, oh it certainly is. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig loves funny music. Everyone loves funny music. That's a lot of shopping. It's everything on Granny Pig's list. Where's the car? I didn't bring the car. I didn't think you'd be buying so much. Oh, I'll call for a taxi. Hello, taxi service. A taxi will be with you shortly. Sorry, I'm just popping out. Back in a mo. Taxi service. Where are you going? Granny and Grandpa Pig's house, please. Righty ho, pop in. <laughs> So you've been shopping, lots of shopping about these days. Shopping for this, shopping for that, shopping, shopping, Miss shopping. Rabbit, why are you talking so much? It's what taxi drivers do, Peppa. Ah. Oh. Mind you, I had Mr Potato in the back of the car the other day. I thought he'd be... Well. Granny Pig is going away for a few days. Grandpa Pig will be on his own. This is a tin of food. To get the food out, you will need this. It's a tin opener. I know what it is, Granny Pig. If you want to boil an egg, fill a pan full of water, Yes, then... yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Pig! <laughs> Hello, my little ones. We've got the shopping. But why are you not at the airport, Granny? Oh, yes. I'd better call a taxi. Taxi service. Hello, Granny Pig. I'd like to go to the airport, please. Of course. Hop in. Thank you. Daddy, can we wave Granny goodbye at the airport? OK. <laughs> bye. Bye, bye. Going to the airport, are you? Yes. 
And actually, we're in a bit of a hurry. Hurry in here, hurry in there. Why are people always in a hurry? Granny Pig has a plane to catch. She's going on holiday. Holiday? I never have time to go on holiday. I'm too busy being in a hurry. Miss Rabbit, are you talking like a taxi driver again? Yes. The taxi has arrived at the airport. Goodbye, my little ones. Bye-bye, Granny. Bye-bye. Pepper and George are waving Granny Pig goodbye. <laughs> Here is Mr Wolf. Taxi! Hop in. Bye-bye, Mr Wolf. Pepper and George love waving goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Daddy, how are we getting home? In the taxi. Oh, it's gone. Been on holiday, have you? I'm actually very tired. Do you mind if we don't talk? Talk? Yes, people talk too much these days, don't they? Talk, 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 talk. What's the matter, Pepper? My tyre has gone flat. It's only a puncture. I'm a bit of an expert at mending punctures. First, we take off the wheel. Next, we take the tyre off the wheel. Are you coming, Pepper? Then, we need a bucket of water. Can you do it quickly, Daddy? I won't be long, Pepper. While you wait, you could pretend to ride a bicycle. Pretend? Yes, your very own pretend bicycle. Hmm. OK, I have thought of a very nice bike. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm riding my bicycle. La, 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 la. <laughs> Why are you walking, Funny? I'm not walking, Susie. Where's your bicycle? It's here. It's a pretend bicycle. <laughs> It's got sparkly wheels and it's painted like a rainbow. Ooh! I wish I had a pretend bicycle. You can, and it can be anything you like. OK, my pretend bicycle is pink and fluffy. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Here is Danny Dog. Hello. Hello, Danny. Do you want to play ball? Have you got a ball? No. It doesn't matter. We can have a pretend ball. Catch, Danny! <laughs> Let's give it a big kick. Oof! Oh! Hello, everyone. It is Rebecca Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. We're playing with a pretend ball. Until Danny kicked it over there. Oh, I know a pretending game. You have to guess what I am. You're a rabbit. No, I'm pretending to be something else. Are you a donkey? No. Are you a fluffy elephant? No. A space rocket? No. <sighs> this is going to take a long time, isn't it? Ask me if I'm big. Are you big? No. I'll give you a clue. I'm a vegetable. Hmm. Can you give us a better clue? Ask me if I'm a carrot. Are you a carrot? Yes. Hooray! <laughs> I sell you this morning. I've a solar powered torch, a wooden frying pan, an electric gnome. Nothing for us today, thank you, Mr. Fox. Unless you've got a metal detector. Metal detector? Well, why didn't you say so? I've got a metal detector right here. Fantastic! It's just like my old one. It's got three settings, finding things, good at finding things, and really good at finding things. Excellent. We'll take it. Now we can find George's lost key. Hooray! How does the metal detector work, Grandpa? I'll show you. Imagine I have lost this coin. I turn on the metal detector and swing it gently from side to side. I'm looking for it here. I'm looking for it there. But, Grandpa, you put the coin here. I know, Peppa. I'm just pretending to look for it. Why don't you pretend to look for it here? Here, you say? Aha! I found something. It's a coin. Yes, Grandpa. It's the one you just put there. Yes, Peppa. And that's how you find things, with a metal detector. 
Can we have a go? <laughs> of course. Let's find that lost key. <laughs> here, there, here. We found something. No, oh, it's a nail. Oh. Keep looking. <laughs> here, there, there's something else. A spoon. What's that doing here? <laughs> This is fun! No. <laughs> key, key! George wants to find the key. Oh, what is it, Grandpa? It's the key! Hooray! <laughs> now we can wind up Mr. Robot. No! George never wants to lose the key again. Don't worry, George. If the key falls out again, we can find it with my new metal detector. I don't think it's that big red button, George. That would be too obvious. Oh! Yes, we try to keep it simple. <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> this passage has led us to the dining hall. Wow! This must be the medieval banquet. Yes, it looks really tasty. It's all made of plastic. Yes, it's to show what a real banquet would have looked like. Oh. But of course, as part of the tour, you get to have your very own real medieval banquet. Fantastic. Here it is, your banquet in a box. The oldie cheese sandwich, Jester's pickle and a king's jelly. It's a little picnic in a box. Yes, it's not quite the medieval banquet I was expecting. And now it's time to meet the dragon. <laughs> George, it won't be a real dragon. Dragons are just pretend. Yes, don't be sad if it's just Miss Rabbit holding a little glove puppet. Oh! Wow. Wow. Miss Rabbit is driving a huge robot dragon. Do you want to see it breathe fire? Yes! Oh, it's heading for our car. Another reason we say cars are parked at owner's risk. And that's the end of the tour. Hope you had a lovely time. I think that was George's best day out ever. <laughs> George loves castles. Everyone loves castles. Who thinks their mummy or daddy would like to do a parachute jump? My mummy! My, 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 my daddy! My daddy! My daddy! We need just one! Pepper and George have arrived back home. Mummy, the school roof is leaking. Again! Is it, darling? Yes. Madam Gazelle says it needs a lot of money to mend. Yes, yes, I'm sure it does. She asked if somebody's mummy or daddy would jump out of an aeroplane. Oh, I hope you didn't say daddy would do it, Pepper. You know he doesn't like heights. But you don't mind heights, do you, mummy? I'm fine with heights. Good. Oh. Thank you, Mummy Pig, for agreeing to jump from an aeroplane. What? But I've never done it before. You'll be fine. Remember, it is for the children. Oh, in that case, of course I'll do it. Hooray for Mummy Pig! It is the day of Mummy Pig's parachute jump. I'm still not sure I really want to do this. It's all in a good cause, Mummy Pig. <gasps> But I don't know how to jump out of an aeroplane. Don't worry, you'll get lots of training first. Hello, Mummy Pig. Mr Rabbit is the parachute trainer. This is a parachute. It will help you float through the air after you jump. Should I practice that? Practice what? Jumping. Why not? There, you're a natural. Is that it? Yes, you are now fully trained. Hooray! <laughs> All aboard! I'm still a tiny bit worried about this jump, Daddy Pig. It's OK, Mummy Pig. I'll come up in the plane with you. Good luck, Mummy!
Don't worry, Mummy Pig. Remember, you've got a parachute. Yes, Daddy Pig. Oh, we are a long way from the ground. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Daddy Pig has fallen out of the plane. There she goes. Oh, wait. That's Daddy Pig. This is the Children's Festival. Wow! wow. <laughs> Welcome to the festival! At the Children's Festival, there are so many fun things to see and do. <laughs> Here is Susie Sheep. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Isn't this great? It's brilliant! There's so much going on. What shall we do first? We've got making things, sand castles, storytelling. Yes! I like stories! Me too! <laughs> <laughs> this is the story tent. All of Peppa's friends are here. Hello, children. If you want a story about a pirate, say, Aha! Aha! Good. Once upon a time, there was a pirate. He found a desert island and he dug up some buried treasure. The end. <gasps> what an adventure! That story makes me miss the sea. I must set sail at once and find that desert island. Captain Dog loves the sea. It's just the story, Daddy. You don't need to set sail. Oh, yes. No need for me to set sail ever again. I like the children's festival. Yes, and not a drop of rain. We've been really lucky this year. Ho, oh, oh. ho! I told you it wouldn't be muddy. A little bit of mud would be nice. This way to the making things tent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, today we're going to learn how to make something from the olden days. Who wants to make a basket? Hmm. Okie dokie. How about knitting an olden days hat? How about a dragon? Me! All the children are making dragons. What's it like out there, Daddy Pig? Is there any mud? Um, a little bit of mud, yes. Oh, my goodness. Wow! So much mud! <laughs> Yes, well, it does say it can get a tiny bit muddy here sometimes. A tiny bit muddy? I've never seen so much mud in all my life. It's brilliant. Yes, <laughs> and we've got a whole day at the festival ahead of us. At the children's festival, there are so many fun things to see and do. Hmm, let's start with making sandcastles. Yippee! Sandcastles! This is the sandcastle area. Who likes making sandcastles? Yay! Now, you might have noticed it's been raining. So instead of sandcastles, we're making mud castles. Hooray! First, fill your buckets with mud. <laughs> Turn your buckets over. Give them a tap. Lift your buckets. Mud castles! <laughs> I like mud castles. Mud castles are the best! Well done, Miss Rabbit. How did you ever come up with the idea for mud castles? Simple. It rains every year, so we always make mud castles. Ah. So what do we want to do next? How about painting pictures? Yay! This is the painting tent. Today, we're going to paint pictures. And instead of paint, we're using mud. Ooh! We've got lots of brown mud and greenish mud. I even found some blue mud this morning. Hmm, what's best to paint with mud? I know, a muddy puddle. <laughs> the children are painting mud pictures. George, shall I teach you how to scooter? <laughs> OK, you hold on to the handlebars like this with both hands. Now stand on the scooter. Oh, no, George, stand 
on the scooter with one foot. Good. <laughs> now push off with the other foot. Like this. Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> George, you're doing it! George has learned to scooter. <laughs> Peppa, George! That's enough scootering for now. It's time to go to playgroup. Oh, we've only just started scootering. <laughs> Can we ride our scooters to playgroup, Daddy? Good idea. We could do with the exercise. Hooray! Ready, steady, go! Whee! Wait for me! See you later, Mummy Pig! See you later! Peppa and George are riding their scooters to playgroup. Not so fast! <laughs> Come on, Daddy! Daddy can't keep up! <laughs> Wait for me! <laughs> Peppa and George have arrived at playgroup. Bye. Oh, now I'm going to have to walk back home. What I need are some wheels. Hang on, I've got wheels. Whee! Ha <laughs> ha, this is fun. <laughs> Daddy Pig likes scootering. Brum, brum. Whee! <laughs> Daddy Pig, you're riding Peppa's scooter. Yes, scootering is such fun. Miss Rabbit, please come to our rescue. It's very important. Come quickly. I'm on my way. All the children have brought their pumpkin lanterns to playgroup. Welcome to the pumpkin competition. If everyone is here, we will get started. Peppa isn't here. Oh, where is she? Miss Rabbit's rescue helicopter has arrived at Grandpa's greenhouse. So, who needs rescuing? My pumpkin! We have to get it to the playgroup in time for the competition. OK. Hop aboard! <laughs> <laughs> Next stop, the playgroup. I think we will have to start without Peppa. Aw, it won't be fun without Peppa. The prize for the best pumpkin grown from seed goes to Susie Sheep. That's me. This is fun. <laughs> the prize for the best pumpkin bought from a supermarket goes to Pedro Pony. That's me. Nay. The prize for the best plastic pumpkin goes to... What's that noise? Look. What's that? There's a light in the sky. Ooh. <laughs> it's a flying pumpkin. It's Papa's pumpkin. Wow. wow. Hello. For the best flying pumpkin goes to Peppa Pig. Hooray! <laughs> this is the best Halloween ever. <laughs> Peppa loves Halloween. Everyone loves Halloween. What's hysterical redemactment? It's when you dress up like it's the olden days and sit around drinking tea. We do more than just drink tea. <laughs> Today, we were being Romans. What's Romans? Romans were people who lived a very long time ago. And I am the emperor. The emperor was the boss of all the Romans. Ooh. Goodbye. See you next week, Granny Pig. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Granny, can we be Romans too? Yes, Peppa. Here are some helmets. <laughs> <laughs> Now what do we do? We march around saying, Veni, Vidi, Vici. What does that mean, Granny? It probably means, anyone for another cup of tea? No. It means, I came, I saw, I conquered. 
Benny Vidi Vici. Benny Vidi Vici. <laughs> Granny Pig loves being a Roman. Benny Vidi Vici. <laughs> Pepper and George love being Romans too. Pepper and George have been doing some lovely pictures this morning. My goodness, they're very good. They look just like Polly. Just like Polly. <laughs> <laughs> the Romans like making pictures too, you know. Did they? Yes. They used coloured pieces to make pictures, known as mosaics. Here's one I made this morning. Ooh. Can we make a mosaic? What a good idea. You'll need some coloured pebbles. Follow me. I've got a whole bag of pebbles in my shed. This is Grandpa Pig's shed. Here we are. Lots of coloured pebbles. <laughs> George, what shall we make a picture of? Dinosaur. Good idea, George. You find the green pebbles for the dinosaur. Broom has a tank full of little fish. Fishy! Wow! There are millions of teeny fish. Fishy, fishy, fish, fish, swimming in the sea. Who will be a fishy friend for my fish goldie? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Could any of these be Goldie's friend? Hmm. No, they are too small. Let's see what fish are in the next room. OK. Here is Candy Cat and her family. Hello, Candy. Hello, Peppa. Meow. What are you doing here? We come here all the time. It's better than watching TV. We like fish. <laughs> <laughs> We've come to find a friend for Goldie the fish. Oh, Ooh. what's in this tank? I can't see anything. Oh, oh, Daddy Pig, there's a fish right in front of you. Where? Whoa! It is a very big fish. Wow! <laughs> Do you think this fish could be a friend for Goldie? No, it is too big. Never mind. Let's go to the next room. What's in this tank? Dinosaur. George thinks he has seen a dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur, George. It's a funny kind of fish called a seahorse. You know lots about fish. Yes, I like fish. <laughs> Can the seahorse be Goldie's friend? Uh, no. It's too dinosaur-y. One more room to go. Oh, what's in this tank? Nothing. It's just green slime. Look. That green slime is algae. There must be some sort of fish in it. Whoa! There's a fish with big, long ears. It's a rabbit fish. It is Miss Rabbit, wearing a diving costume. Ooh. She is cleaning the fish tank. <coughs> Miss Rabbit is saying hello. <coughs> it is difficult to talk underwater. <coughs> Mummy Pig is buying lots of things to take home. Mummy Pig, we haven't got room for all this in our suitcase. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. They sell suitcases too. This is the village cafe. Ciao, Gabriela. My uncle makes very good pizza. You eat pizza in Italy? Pizza is Italian food. Oh, goody. I like pizza. A little bit of tomato, a little bit of cheese, into the oven and... Into my tummy. <laughs> Maybe we'll let them cook first, no? OK. Peppa, let's write the postcard to your goldfish. Yes. I miss her very much. To Goldie. Wish you were here. Love and kisses, Peppa. <laughs> you can post the card here. Goodbye, postcard. Fly home quickly. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Mmm, yummy. Pepper loves pizza. Everybody loves pizza. Did you like that, Teddy? Yes, it was delicious. Magnifico, Uncle Goat. There will always be a special place for your pizza in my tummy. Thank you. Ciao. Goodbye. 
Oh dear. Peppa has left Teddy behind at the cafe. What a lovely, relaxing holiday we're having. Oh dear, it's the police. Leave the talking to me. Hello, officer. I don't know what I did, but I won't do it again. Mr Pig, you're Teddy. Teddy! Thank you. Just doing my job, signora. Pepper and her family have arrived back at their holiday house. Time for bed. Can we ring Goldie the fish, Mummy? OK. Granny and Grandpa Pig are looking after Goldie the fish while Pepper is on holiday. I do hope we're feeding Goldie enough. The island is a bit small to have a picnic on. We can have our picnic in the boats. Who'd like a sandwich? Me, please! <laughs> Here's some bread, Mrs Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs Duck loves picnics. Everyone loves picnics. Your time is up. One, two and three. That's us. Let's see who can get back first. We'll have a race. Yes! Pedal faster, Daddy. I'm not sure I can pedal much faster. Oh, Daddy Pig. I'll do the pedalling. Quick on, Mummy. This is quite hard work, isn't it? Aha! We'll be carried back by the wind, Danny. Oh. What is it? The wind has stopped. Without any wind, the sailing boat cannot go. We'll just have to wait for the wind to pick up again. How long will that take? I don't know. It could be weeks. Can't we use the engine? Oh, you don't have engines on sailing boats, Danny. Oh. The sailing boat does have an engine. Emily and her family are in the lead. Pedal faster, Mummy! Oh. We're going to win the race! <laughs> Here come Danny and Captain Dog. Hooray! We win! <laughs> <laughs> that was exhausting. Next time we'll take a sailing boat. Yes. Sailing boats have engines on them. Daddy? See you later, Danny. I've decided to sail around the world again. But you said you were going to stay home. Oh, yes. I'm not a sailor anymore. But I do love boating on the lake. <laughs> what? Like this? <gasps> Watch out! Whoa! The boomerang has flown all the way back to Pepper. <laughs> what was that? It's a boomerang, Daddy. Ah, uh, yes. You have to throw it hard and then it comes back. Allow me to show you, Mr Pig. Are you ready? One, two, three, throw! So, when does it come back? Ah. Keep a good lookout, kids. That boomerang could be anywhere. I think we might have found it. Hello. This is Mr Wallaby. He is the next-door neighbour. Uh, hi, Mr Wallaby. I was, uh, just teaching these kids how to throw a boomerang. Sorry about your window. Well, there's no worries there, mate. What's a broken window between friends? <laughs> Mr Wallaby is a very nice neighbour. Don't let it happen again, though. Thanks. Like I was saying, to throw a boomerang, you need to throw it hard. What? Like this? That's it, Daddy! It's coming back! Here she comes! Here she comes! Catch it, Mr Pig! Ah, missed it! <gasps> oh, no! The boomerang has broken another window. Well, <laughs> I think we should be going. Well, you've still got some windows left. Hey, no! You can't leave until I've had a go. Let me show your mates how a boomerang should be thrown. Thanks, Mr Wallaby. Ah, uh, don't mention it. That's what neighbours are for. <laughs> now, the trick is you need to throw the boomerang more upright. 
like this. Ooh. It's good. It's good. It's a good throw. Here it comes. It's good. It's looking... Oh, no! Someone catch it! Oh, dear. The boomerang has broken another window. Mary had a little lamb. Oh, yes. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. It had a sheep in it. <laughs> that was lovely, Pepper. Thank you. Who else has a favourite nursery rhyme? I like Little Bo Peep. And can you sing Little Bo Peep? Yes. And it goes like this. <gasps> Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. I don't like that one. It's about sheep getting lost. It's too sad. Yes. Does anyone know a nursery rhyme that isn't about sheep? Me, me. Yes, Pedro. <gasps> ba ba black sheep. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I know one about a cat. Oh, splendid candy. Can you share it with us? <coughs> hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. Mm. The little dog loved to see such fun. <laughs> and the dish ran away with the spoon. <laughs> Dishes <laughs> running away with spoons? And cows jumping over moons? Crazy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? I know a rhyme about a mouse. Very good, Freddy. Hickory dickory dog. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one makes a lot more sense. Mice do like to run around. Madam Gazelle, I know a rhyme that has numbers in it. Excellent, Wendy. Please share it with the class. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Daddy, you look sad. Oh, it's nothing, son. Just seeing this here boat reminded me how much I miss the sea. Captain Dog loves the sea. Why not open your birthday present? It's a boat trip. A boat trip? That's just what I wanted. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing better than sailing a boat. You could go anywhere you want in a sailing boat. We could head for the tropics or have an Arctic adventure. We might even see a whale. <laughs> it's just a day trip, dear. This is the canal. Now, where's the sailing boat? We're going on this canal boat. I see. We use the canal boat to get to the sailing boat. No, dear. We're going on this boat for your birthday and we're sailing it down the canal. But on a canal, you can only go this way and that way. It'll be fun. Come on, Dad. It is a boat. Yes, Danny, you're right. A boat on the water. All aboard. Oh, I wanted to say that. Oh, I'm sorry. Go on, then. All aboard! Raise the sail! Oh, where is the sail? Canal boats do not have sails. You just push this button to make the boat go. Ah, thank you, Mummy Dog. <laughs> and we're away. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs Duck is going faster than our boat. Want a race, do you, Mrs Duck? 
full steam ahead. <laughs> uh, can't this thing go any faster? No, this is the top speed. Uh Our house is not finished yet. My daddy is still building it. Ah! Here is Mr. Mole. He is very good at digging. How do you like your new bedroom, Molly? It's lovely and cosy. <laughs> this is my new friend, Pepper. Hello, Mr. Mole. <laughs> Delighted to meet you. Daddy Pig has come to pick up Pepper. Hello. Hello? Hello, Daddy Pig. How can I help you? Do you know where Molly Mole's family live? Yes, they have moved in underneath us. Underneath you? Yes, it's quite exciting. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> Hello, Mr Pig. Come inside. Oh, oh. Please excuse the mess. We're building an extension. Oh, I'm a bit of an expert on extensions. Let me know if you need any advice. That's very kind of you. Yes, it takes a lot of skilled people to build a house. Plumbers, electricians, architects. Actually, Mr Mole and I are just building it ourselves. Oh. Hello, Mr Pig. Hello, Mr Mole. Uh, interesting place you've got here. Thanks. There's a little bit more digging to do, but... How are you holding the ceiling up? Is it a steel or a concrete lintel? Lintel? What's a lintel? Well, the good thing about digging a house is that you do what you want, where you want. You could put a door here. Or a door here. Or you could even put one here. Uh, hello, Mr Rabbit. Oh, hello. Hello, Mr Mole. <laughs> oh, I hope it's OK. I've just made a doorway in your floor. A doorway in the floor? What a good idea. Would you like a cup of tea? Who are you talking to, Mr Mole? I was talking to Mr Rabbit. Hello, Mrs Mole. Oh, hello, Mr Rabbit. This is the Soft Play Centre, where everything is soft, so children can bounce, swing, squash, slide, and play! This is great! The children are having so much fun! Yes, I just hope we can get them out at the end! <laughs> the little children have been playing all day. Home time, children! <laughs> that was a lovely party, wasn't it? Yes! Have you all had fun? Yes! Are you ready to go home now? No! <laughs> My goodness, we're never going to get them out. There's only one thing for it. I'll have to go in. Good luck. Ooh. Ah, I'm stuck. Help. Don't worry, I'm coming in. I'm nearly there. Oh, no, I'm stuck too. Help. Hello. Mr Elephant has come to collect Edmund Elephant. Mr Elephant! Help! We're stuck! <laughs> no problem, ladies. I'll get you out. No, don't! You'll get stuck! It's a trap! Ah! I'm stuck! <laughs> Daddy Pig, Pepper and Susie have come to collect George. <laughs> ah, what good little children you are. Uh, where are your parents? Hi! We're, We're stuck. stuck! Oh, oh, that usually happens to me. That is going to happen to me, isn't it? I'm going to go in there and get stuck. Me and Susie can go in. We're smaller. That's kind of you both, but it is my job. As a grown-up, I must do this. But, Daddy! Don't worry, Peppa. If I get stuck, I will ring for the rescue services. <laughs> ah, yes, I'm stuck. Mummy, can we play Happy Mrs Ticken on the computer? Not at the moment, Pepper. I need to finish the important book I'm writing. Daddy Pig is in the kitchen making lunch. Daddy, when 
Can we play Happy Mrs Chicken? When Mummy has finished writing her book. Oh, that's it. After lots and lots of hard work, I've finally finished writing my book. Well done, Mummy Pig. Now we can play Happy Mrs Chicken. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> You did save your work, didn't you? Ah, no, I didn't press save. Forty, ninety, ten, million, hundred and twelve. <laughs> well done, George. That's the highest score ever. <laughs> <laughs> my work. Where's my work? Ah, there it is. Quick, save, close, send. You. Is your work all right, Mummy? Yes, Pepper. I've just sent it off to be made into a real storybook. Ooh, a storybook. Not just one book. Lots and lots of books. Going to bookshops everywhere. Wow. wow. Mummy, can you read us your story? Yes, I'm going to read it to you and your friends at Playgroup tomorrow. <laughs> Mummy Pig has arrived at the playgroup with lots of copies of her new book. Thank you, Mummy Pig, for coming to read your new book to us today. It's very exciting. These books are so new, I haven't even opened one yet. Children, Mummy Pig has worked hard to write this book, so we must listen politely even if it is not very good. Thank you. It's about an onion. Ooh. <coughs> Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. Four seven six eight five nine three. Oh, 